just don't, disrespectful. Don't, don't, he is a fat don't, don't, retard. Don't, 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 Do not call him a big fat retard. I'll titty fuck jumbo yum yums. I like my bitches. Red bone ass fat jello. Lemon party is kicking ass. Riders on the But I'm not spiking. I'm not sweating. I'm not shaking. I'm not gripping the seat in front of me. Like, I feel pretty right. okay. Hey, speaking of flying to Texas, by the way, if you haven't got your tickets yet, I think Austin is sold out. This is going to come out on a Tuesday. That's which, right. Which means the day after that, we're going to be at Austin. I believe it's sold out as of right if, now. If it's not sold out, there's maybe like one or two tickets left. So check to see. Yeah. But if not, we've got the Houston tickets uh, two days after. And then two days after that. We're going to be doing the Fort Worth show where we're going to be watching the uh, the Super Bowl. Yeah, so fr- yeah. Friday, come to... That venue is going to be fun in Houston, and we still have tickets left for that. Yeah, that'll be fun. That's to, Friday. Yeah. That's February we're gonna have 9th, a lot of, if you're We're going to have a lot of local rappers it, open the show. It'll be great. Rappers, human traffickers, mm-hmm. the Houston yeah. double. We booked a big where she's going to eat his girlfriend on stage <laughs> before we start recording. And by the way, for all these shows, guys, all handicap seating is full. <laughs> Just let's get that out. Yeah, there. we've filled up handicap. We filled up the we filled up the double wide seats. Yeah. They sell like a, three of. Few people were messaging me saying they were attaching uh, they were attaching uh, uh, jet packs to their wheelchairs and they're gonna f- fly right there. <laughs> but yeah, a couple people were sending the venues um, uh, pictures of Kevin Smith from uh, 2012, and they said, "Can <laughs> this guy sit in the chairs?" They said that he can't stop doing that. You will be tasered at the door. Yeah, a lot of our fans going to be on a, a Southwest flight full of eight people because they're all taking up. Every yeah, dude, ride. imagine they all hit the airport at the same time, walking out like Monsters Inc. When they're all walking towards the doors in slow mo. Just guy, a guy walking on his hands with no feet. Big. Uh, Dude, I hope I hope we go to the show and there's a guy who looks like one of those Mexican werewolf children. From oh yeah, Ripley's Believe It or Not. There's yeah, gonna be, be people cool. we think are Wolverine, but they just haven't cut their nails. Yeah, there's gonna be the Indian guy with the nails in the bag. He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna be at the show. Uh, no, but we're really excited. Uh, I'm honestly excited to see what what freak show. I can't wait to just walk out and look at everybody, just scan the crowd. Uh, le- and lemon party dot life for the live dates. There's a button that says live dates. You click on that and it'll on take you lemon to party dot life is the website. You can get tickets. I think all the shows might sell out, which is pretty cool because I didn't know if like two people were going to come. And then on March 23rd, we're doing a live podcast in L.A., which should be really fun. Too. Yeah. And that's first come first served. And I think. The venue only fits like a hundred people, so you need to get there early. That'll be interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. I told you guys it's it's first come first serve tickets, so I think the ticket line will become like when they try to hand out rice in Uganda, <laughs> <laughs> and General Buck naked shows up with a big sword and starts swiping people's hands off. We might get Joey uh, uh, really fucked up and bring him on stage to yeah. call Chase Bank yeah. <laughs> and make some threats. We'll bring yeah. him. We'll bring him on stage like King Kong, like with chains <laughs> tied to him. Yeah. Fear not, ladies and gentlemen. Those are ten style chains. He just pulls his phone out, gets on speaker. He's like, "Would hate to be in Times Square today." <laughs> tick. Tick, tick. That'd be great if he like sold out the MetLife Stadium or something. It's just Joey at a desk, just like, just with a with a rotary phone, mm-hmm. just calling people yeah. and threatening to kill them. Yeah, just calling, just selling out like forty thousand seats. Yeah, calling a cop that looks like fucking Paul Walter Hauser. Just being like TikTok, Mister Policeman. TikTok. He calls it a bomb threat to his own show. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's gonna be a fun time. So. Yeah, oh, and we're wait. selling we're selling um, posters and merch and all that shit um, at the shows. I got a little chip reader today, so 
you guys can pay uh, with your mom's credit card that you bring to the show. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, guys showing up with credit cards that have scratch marks in them from when they stole them. Yeah, handing us Monopoly money. <laughs> and some people don't want to go to the Fort Worth show because it's during the Super Bowl and you're going to watch right. the last half of the game with us. But the game's going to be a blowout and it's going to be boring and you're going to have your putt in your paw. On the couch mm. at your girlfriend's mom's place well, or whatever, gonna, wherever you went to have gonna, a not fun time. We're gonna we asked the venue to pull it up and stuff, you know. So we'll, they're gonna be playing we'll, it behind yeah, us. Yeah, we'll be watching it too. We can all yeah. we can all watch. And it's gonna uh, stink like every Super Bowl. It's gonna Bowl. be boring. It's I gonna imagine. be terrible. It's gonna be Taylor Swift, but we can call them gay and retarded. Yeah, and that'll make it fun. Come on, I mean it's an Andy Reid Super Bowl. You don't think we'll have some jokes? <laughs> Look at that fat fuck. Come on, it's gonna be great. We just we'll ask the venue to just pause it on him, not even watch the game. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Andy, there's like an Andy Reid uh, impersonator on Cameo, and he makes a fucking killing. Yeah, this is a beautiful country. Really? Because just barstool guys yeah. are like, they're buying Cameos where it's like, dude, I thought that was actually yeah. Andy Reid for a second, wishing me happy birthday. Mm-hmm. And everyone everyone that asks him for a Cameo are all Andy Reid's kids <laughs> that he doesn't speak to. Like, just pretend to be my father, please. Can you say a word to me that isn't about an offensive scheme? S- say you'll be home tonight. Just say you'll, you're you going to hang with me tonight. Someone said he had a gay son that uh, committed suicide. They've all died. He ate <laughs> all the food. <laughs> they all starved to they death. They starved to death, yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they ate their mom and then died. They were so hungry, they became homosexual. Yeah. Yes. They were so hungry. Whenever Just so they're eat, gay. They, they were so hungry, they started eating men's asses. <laughs> yeah. That's how hungry they were. You know, were. whenever you see Andy Reid has that headset on, it's just so the guys up top can tell him another kid died. He goes, what? He, he killed himself. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's the, yeah. sixth, the sixth one. The big sheet is the list of the, his children's vitals from that day. <laughs> Seeing how close they are to eating the last piece of bone marrow in their body. Those headsets are weird because it's like for three guys. It's for guys that fly yeah. helicopters. It's for Andy Reid and then people that work in the fast food drive throughs Yeah. This is only three people. Mm-hmm. And, and Andy, Andy Reid looks like all three. <laughs> yeah. He could be any three. And of he's them. ordering food. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's, talking to, yeah. he's ordering the entire he's like, game. Uh, yeah, running a number seven with a with a large coke, waffle fries. Mm-hmm. Patrick Mahomes is like, what waffle fries? Oh, not sorry. you, dumbass! <laughs> now get your black dad out of the stadium and your gay rapist brother. Your really black dad's making everyone in Kansas City uncomfortable. Your really black dad, everybody likes way more than you. Taylor Swift just Emmett tailed your father. <laughs> Wait, so people and your brother just raped my last kid. <laughs> So people can't get mad at Travis Kelsey for saying the N-word soft day on Twitter? Does mm-hmm. he have a black dad? No, no, that's Patrick Mahomes. Oh, okay. I don't he know who anyone Patrick is. Mahomes has a very black dad. Yeah. Travis Kelsey is, is pretending that he has a black yeah. father. Patrick, mm. Patrick Mahomes' dad is like Charleston White. It's yeah. Like, I don't know if you know that guy, but I don't really know why he's famous, but he's just on he's on the internet all the time being interviewed, and he's like, gay gay people are disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know that guy. Like, he looks like fat Morgan Freeman. No, he's skinny. He's super skinny. Oh, okay. And uh, I don't know what he did, but he just talks shit about women and gays. Like a Dr. Umar type? Kind of, yeah. See, that's the thing is that like in the black community, there can be guys that are just like really homophobic and like racist and stuff. Mm-hmm. And, and it's like, like everyone just goes like, it's fucking. Like, they go, on. he's a professor. They go, what do you mm-hmm. want? He has a doctor in front of it. Yeah. Yeah. Could you no, imagine being an alt right guy with doctors in front of your name? That'd be terrible. You'd be kicked off of everything. Yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> no, it's like no, it's it's Doctor Duke. <laughs> <laughs> but those <laughs> those guys have a beautiful job. Their jobs are for dads to be able to send their videos to their sons mm-hmm. and be like, "See, this black gentleman said that uh, queer should be killed with trucks." But, so yeah. here's the thing, too. I think it's also okay. Because, like, if those... The, close that door. Emma's being weird and the baby's yeah. crying. Emma's uh, eating her own <laughs> pussy in the hall. <laughs> and the baby's screaming. Yeah. Shut that the door. The baby's been screaming all... I came over and she was laying in her own shit. We're putting her on a diet. She's way too fat. Yeah, yeah. she is pretty big. She's getting so big she looks Chinese now. You guys are raising her like a family in Palmdale. <laughs> right. yeah. She's on the Palmdale diet. Yeah, it's the... <laughs> it's the rad milk family. <laughs> Dad's out back with his sandwich. Waving his sword around. And the cops are coming and he keeps saying it. 
it's yeah. imagine yeah that's so funny imagine, like the wife asking like what did what were his last words <laughs> <laughs> like well I, I can't say it the other officer can but not me for anyone who wasn't following that we knew a guy who shouted the n-word a bunch waving a sword at a black cop and the black cop shot him that's yeah. right but he was doing suicide by cop this was, is a person we actually knew who we had in our own he was mm-hmm. i've been to dinner with him and he was yeah. killed by the state for being really cool <laughs> it's a goddamn shame no he did a bunch of drugs and lost his mind that's what happens when you move to palmdale though mm-hmm. yeah that's kind of yeah it's like the shining like was a city you get a mansion but you live on mars yeah. basically mm-hmm. you yeah. live on the surface of the sun and you slowly turn into a big druggy lizard mm-hmm. that screams in words and gets the house next door is just full of chickens it's one of those places <laughs> neighbor to the it's left like a donkey it's just, chick- just chickens chickens. <laughs> chickens and donkeys and you it's kind of like moving to where Courage the Cowardly Dog lives yeah. in the cartoon. <laughs> it is. And they break in every night with guns. You still got to say you see a dog go, woo, 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 woo. but he's, that's him saying the N-word. He's getting shot at by cops. Your neighbor is literally one chicken. Yeah. Like you see him like doing the dishes. Yeah. You just wave. And you go keep an eye on him. Yeah. Oh, we like chickens, just not fried chickens around those parts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a far psycho. Yeah, it's a chicken uh, changing the oil in his car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see the rat on their neck. You go, that's a blood. <laughs> Stay clear. Stay clear, Eunice. <laughs> My big son, Eunice. <laughs> did you guys see Ron DeSantis shared this cop? Do I have the cop behind me on the screen? Yeah, yeah didn't you do. This, didn't this retard die like driving the wrong way on the highway? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ron DeSantis goes, our hearts go out to the family of Trooper Zachary Fink, who was killed in the line Fink. of duty while attempting to detain a fleeing felon in St. Lucie County. Yeah. We're praying for the Fink family and the entire FHP community. He goes, mm. unfortunately, Whataburger had closed five minutes prior. <laughs> It would have been pointless for him to have even gone. <laughs> Everyone complains about the DEI thing where they're like, oh, we're going to hire people with Down syndrome now. It's like, we already they are, have. They're, they're, they're all over. Yeah, yeah. That guy's I, mouth is so small, he has a Hitler mustache. Yeah. That looks like the male version of... <laughs> that looks like the male version of that of that female cop that fucked everybody in the force. Oh, yeah. that, that She fucked like seven people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She looked like she was like... 12 years old. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Well, this this young man, what happened was mm. he was killed in the line of duty, but it's because he was going the wrong way on the highway. Yeah. And apparently, really? yes, and he killed someone else. He killed a truck driver. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Jesus. He was trying to eat nacho cheese with his gun. Drove the wrong way. <laughs> he was dipping his gun into a big bottle of Tostitos nacho cheese. Firing it. <laughs> Deep throating uh, his nine millimeter. Yeah. yeah. R.I.P. Yeah. This guy looks like he turns into a lazy eye to take a photo. God, he sucks. <laughs> yeah. R.I.P. Rest in yeah. piss, bozo. <laughs> Rest in piss. Dude, you know he's sucking his stomach so hard he just broke two of his ribs. <laughs> He's pushing it in with his hands. Mm-hmm. And yeah, everyone's like, he drove the wrong way on the highway and killed the truck driver. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Everybody knows what he did. And DeSantis is calling him a hero. Yeah. God, that he, He's a hero, dude. I just, I love a, I love that a cop in Florida somewhere drove the wrong way on the highway and because of that, two cops are going to go kill a black guy tonight. <laughs> right. Just be like, we got to avenge our own. We're like, you know, if he could have seen better that night if it wasn't for that black night. We got the night school. They're shooting at the sky. Yeah. The yeah. They're trying to kill all these white stars. Looks like the moon's wearing a hoodie tonight. <laughs> it's so funny, too, because, like, I got to, like, change the way I look at the world because in my head, I see this guy and I go, that's a 35 year old man. Mm-mm. And then I think I, it takes me f- se- several minutes, and I go, "That's a sixteen-year-old boy." <laughs> yeah, he looks like a child. He looks mm-hmm. like a child. He mm-hmm. looks like a child that is a pedophile. <laughs> oh, like he rapes himself. Yeah, he yeah. looks like he asks a, another girl of age out on a date, and they arrest him. <laughs> just yeah. every cop is just a Paul Walter Hauser guy mm-hmm. driving the wrong way mm-hmm. on the freeway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. By the way, I yeah, think I'm gonna what? follow that guy on Instagram. Paul Walter Hauser. Yeah, he keeps posting these I am second videos. You know what the I am second thing is in yeah, Christianity? Yeah, he's like a Christian guy, right? It's the stuff like Tim Tebow would do back in the day where it's like, I am second. 
because they're God like, is first. God, God is Jesus first. Is first. Yeah, yeah. Minorities are third. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they let a, they let Patrick Mahomes do it. And it's mm-hmm. like I am third for yeah, you. But Patrick Mahomes is like I'm two and a half. <laughs> My dad is four. <laughs> Minorities and then blacks. If for anybody that doesn't know uh, what Christians are like in the South, but it's the reason that they get off to the I am second thing mm-hmm. is because they love talking about how they are a piece of shit. Yeah, mm. yeah. I'm 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 not first. I'm Lord not, knows I'm not Lord, first. I'm second. I got four rules in my... I got this God, then my family, <laughs> then my truck, <laughs> then me, <laughs> then black people, <laughs> then the Buckies. <laughs> and they don't... They always And those do, are the only things that exist. Those are the only things that I can think of ever. <laughs> and he goes, I have these... By the way, I have these morals. I do not live by any of them at all. I'm a huge piece of shit to everyone in my life. Because at the end of the day, that's like what they all. I, the amount of Which guys we all are to really, no, of, of course, but of course, but we're not walking around, yeah. pretending that go fuckers had a god that was real. Yeah. We're not making up these stupid fairy tales for retarded guys who look like that. Yeah, I'll look at anybody and be like, no, I come before my kid and my wife. Yeah, I'm like, I come first. Here's I got I got order. It's me, myself. Me when I get really scared, me when I get really angry, my girlfriend, yep. and then black people. Yeah. <laughs> still the same. <laughs> still the same, still the same still way down there. Yeah, no, but we're not like, I, the amount of people I knew in church who were like, it's, it's, it's God, it's your family, and then you, and then you'd see them at the potluck, like, just slap the shit out of their kid. Oh, yeah. All mm-hmm. kidding aside, these were people that always put themselves first, mm-hmm. Abo- above everyone. Like, really the most selfish people I've ever seen. Yeah. And then, so they love these I Am Second videos, mm-hmm. where they sit in, like, a little black box room and just talk about, you know, how great Christ is. But you can't ever talk about how great Christ is, because these are the most, like, selfish people ever. They always have to talk about how they suck. Mm-hmm. It's it's not even about Jesus, the whole mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it would be called Jesus is number one. Mm-hmm. But no, it's no. not. That's a great point. It ne- but it isn't. It's fucking, it's I. It's fucking, it's always I. It really, really, I don't know if it's just because dad was in town, but it's just, it really yeah. is. No, me. no, no. You've got a rage coursing through you. <laughs> it's very egotistical, but like it goes the magical man mm-hmm. and then me. Rufus. Yeah. It goes the son of God <laughs> and then Rufus. Rufus. And, and then the son of Ralph. <laughs> but I'm I'm almost there. But I'm almost there. I'm nipping at his heels, brother. I'm coming for you, Jesus. <laughs> you know, it's MJ. I'm LeBron. <laughs> I'm coming for your records, motherfucker. <laughs> So what? I was a bad player, a bad teammate. I've been in the year at least twenty years. I ain't even a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very fun. I mean, I, I don't know. I just love that these people are becoming like they're like too fat to like they're all gonna. I, I posted on Twitter this video like the, like everybody's becoming so fat they're just dying the way bugs do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're drowning in puddles. They're falling in nets. Yeah, they're just <laughs> walking into lights and exploding. Did you? Did, <laughs> they're, yeah, they're walking into a Krispy Kreme sign and trying to eat it, just getting zapped. Did you see? Did you see this video? <clears throat> oh yeah, I think I. Oh, this guy playing top golf. How? Yeah. Okay, first off, how does that? How did he get up there? <laughs> like, how was he allowed on the second floor? Yeah, there's a, so there's there are two levels, but you are right. They should have been like and they he, should have known this is going to happen. He walked across the net and got stuck in it. No, no. So a lot of people. When they're really fat and they try to play golf, they swing. And you know how there's a follow through? They, the inertia of their body rotating, they fell forward. Right. And they fell off of the top golf and into a net that prevents you from killing yourself. Oh, wow. But the thing, what they didn't plan on is that some people are so fat, they fall off and then they can't get, they can't get back. Watch Mm -hmm. it move. I mean, the net is cutting through his skin. Oh, oh, by the way, Jace, <laughs> it's cut, dude, it's cutting through him like that Resident Evil trap. Dude, so here's the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The, the lasers <laughs> with all the squares. <laughs> it, have you ever seen a video where, like, someone catches, like, a really big, like, shark or something and yeah. just can't get out? Can't get oh, out? dude, it looks like Warthog season. And is it is that is that 
the person that is that a typo or is that on purpose holy shot or is that just a retarded person i think i hope that's a retarded person not somebody trying to do trying a to really make, shitty pun. this is a yeah, top okay. golf in arkansas so mm. lord only knows but yeah. uh, vandal pointed out to me actually because he uh he made a joke and said she and i look closer it is a woman yeah, no, mm. there's a nice rump like it does. It looks like a cartoon, yeah. uh, like ham. <laughs> well, that's what they told. They run the dinner bell and they go, supper's up, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Have at her. Have at her, boys. <laughs> They're shoving golf clubs up her pussy and shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. I want. I could look at that all day. Mm-hmm. I really. It makes me really happy. It's really nice to look at. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Top golf really is it's for people too poor to go on the Burt Kreischer cruise. Yeah. But they still want to spend all their monies being drunk and eating shitty nachos. Did they did they get her out? I think she's still there to this day. They walked up and they walked up and shot her. (laughs) (laughs) They finished her off. (laughs) From below. There was a guy there was a guy this happened so much a guy walked up with a gun on a stick and held it up to her head. But it never penetrates into any of the organs, so they just well, keep firing what, away. What they have to do, like that cop, is they have to dip it in honey, and then they hold it up yeah. so they'll, they'll gum it, Yeah, and then they, they blow their brains out. They put dynamite in her mouth like an apple. They finally just have to <laughs> blow her up. <laughs> if if I'm on the ground below, there's no way I'm not accidentally popping one up and hitting her right in the face. Sure. Oh, yeah. oh I would cork a drive right into her gullet. I would stand right under her and just start throwing golf balls at her head. I mean, she's not even making an attempt to try and stand back I know. up. Her fingers do it. There. Look at her finger. It's, it's, that's it. It's that's all she's giving. Yeah, it's actually infuriating. That's the thing that makes me mad is how bad she is about being in the net. Yes, she doesn't even care. She's like, well, I guess this is it. Well, I guess I should be killed this way. <laughs> that's the giveaway. It's a woman. If it is was a man, she- he would have. a man would have just rolled. A man would have thought it's smart if he just rolled out. Yeah. He kept rolling right. or something or a guy a, a guy in arkansas would have pulled out a pocket knife and started cutting through the net mm-hmm. and they would have all been screaming no 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 stop, oh yeah stop. yeah and he would have landed on the pocket no you knife. should there, there, there's a guy like right after this video cut a guy like like uh, climbed up a ladder and sliced her belly open and a bunch of candy fell out and everyone just started running over and i mean if this happens at top golf everyone should be allowed to hit at you mm-hmm. yeah if this happens at top golf you should be like deported <laughs> Yeah, they should just cut. You the, lose your. You citizenship. should lose your citizenship. Mm-hmm. I mean, what are we like? There's a lot of people coming in here to that want to work. Look at this fat retard <laughs> at Top Golf in a net. In a net. The way a bug would like get caught. Like a fucking bug. <laughs> I hate her, and I hate everyone I know. there, dude. She is. <laughs> She's moving like when a bug gets in a spider web. She's doing that same type of... It's unbelievable. She's dying like a moth. Yeah, like that Joe Pesci in Casino type arm Mm -hmm. movement. God, she sucks ass. Does she have a name tag on? Is she an employee? I don't know. Maybe she's just so retarded they have to put that on her. (laughs) And I guarantee you this person is like, brother, I'm second. Oh, yeah. I'm not first, brother. Mm -hmm. I'm second. Brother, I'm second. It's me, Jesus, then the net. <laughs> and they're get, she's giving her testimony that weekend. Well, she's not because women can't speak in church. But if she was a guy, she'd be like, "I kind of that net's like God. Dude. It saved me from falling I'm on my fat second. neck <laughs> and Dude, snapping it." Imagine going to the ER and being treated for injuries for being caught in a net. Yeah, yeah. I know. Like you were hunted on an island. I was in purgatory once. It was the net on the second floor, Top Golf. You know, there's another fisherman, and that's the net at Top Golf. And they said, Jesus said to them, You will be fishers of men, much like I was a fish in a net at the, the Tuscaloosa Top Golf. They can't And yes, I did. Before that, I swung the club and broke both of my arms just swinging it. That is correct. Are these people getting fucking like stuck in the shoot at like a bowling alley too, where the bowling ball comes out? Like I don't know, like to what end? Are, do these people go to aquariums and fall in and drown? I think they, yeah, mm. I think they like go through revolving doors and get cut in half somehow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just snaps them in twine. They can't handle anything. No, no, mm. not at all. They're getting killed by escalators. Probably yeah. they're falling down elevator shafts. They're somehow getting no, yeah. killed by the X-ray machine at the airport. When they go to an aquarium, the manatees look at them. <laughs> the manatees the- pull out cameras <laughs> and they go up to the glass, <laughs> and then the security starts yelling at the manatees, "No photography!" 
And then, because they take a picture, that the retarded guy just like runs at the glass <laughs> and just snaps his neck. <laughs> <laughs> just just bleeds out. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, 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 you just like, ooh. The manatees ooh. are trying to feed him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ooh. Throw, the manatees start throwing fish at him. <laughs> 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 yeah. Catch it, they catch it in their mouths. Oh, fuck. God, that rules. Yeah, they're trying to fuck the glass. <laughs> they think it's one of them got out, and it's in heat. God, uh, God look at her go. <laughs> I could watch, I've been watching it all Is day. Is there a full the... version? Do they have the rescue? <clears throat> That's the thing. The best stuff's actually just on Facebook. I'm thinking about getting back on. Facebook's awesome. Mm-hmm. There's the only place where people are named Lynn C. Mm-hmm. Well, look at that. Lynn C. Province. Mm-hmm. That's where the good shit is. That's where they are. And then the that really good shit is on YouTube, but only for like two hours. Like that guy that beheaded his uh, dad. Yeah, I never, I didn't see that. I just heard about it. Yeah, I saw the guy. I didn't see the dad's hat. I didn't go looking for it. Mm. A lot Was of people were saying cut? it's fake news. It's a fake head. It looked real to me. Mm. Yeah, it's fake news. Guy cutting a guy's head off. Well, he's holding it up in like uh, one of, I think he went to like PetSmart to get one of those bags you take a goldfish home in. <laughs> And then you just like cut his dad's hat off and put it in that and then held it in up. Wa- in water, like twist it up. <clears throat> yeah, and then he just like held it up and then made a lot of great points about like the border and immigration and stuff. Mm. He, I was like, huh? Interesting. Yeah, mm. I heard he sounded pretty pretty normal. He's pretty cogent. Yeah. He's pretty good. Is there any footage of him just talking or is, yeah, it, yeah, is yeah. it all gone? No, no, no. A lot of people uh, sent me a ton of files about it that I didn't download from mm. like Dropbox mm. links and stuff. I love mm. that you get sent files like you're investigating the Kennedy assassination. <laughs> did he did he film himself chopping his dad's head off? Uh, no, he just he uh, 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 pulled it up on like a live stream. Interesting. It is kind and he of killed funny. him because he's a cuck. It's funny to to kill your thought like you're in like a Muslim extremist way though. Mm-hmm. Like, and he's just a white him. guy. Yeah. They have a lot of influence. He wanted to make a point, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I saw a clip on Twitter the other day. I was kind of shocked by it. It was a, g- a guy, just like an uh, old guy, walking into his son's room, and he points the gun at I couldn't at believe him. that video. I couldn't believe I actually saw that. I, I, I couldn't believe I, w- I, was, I was allowed shocked. to watch that. What are you talking about? It was this old guy. I'm surprised you didn't film it, honestly. Yeah, it was old guy walks into his, his son's bedroom, and he goes, I'll kill you, motherfucker. And you see down the barrel, and mm-hmm. then his son's like, do it, fucking retard. <laughs> yeah. And then he, he goes... And then in the, the hallway follows him. You see him lift the gun up and f- you see the flash. He fires it and then you see blood start falling on the floor. And then the kid is like the most casual, the most casual person I've ever seen almost being killed. And then just like slowly walks downstairs and like runs out back. I read that the uh, dad ended up killing himself oh. later that day. And then they called the cops. So, you know, they, they moved right on. Good. They That's fantastic. Right yeah. I love that. Uh, I love this goddamn country. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love that we are in a state where you can just film any retarded thing happening. Love how casual that was for that family. Like mm-hmm. that was just like a little mild blow up. Oh, you know the you know the mom called her like sister and she's like, "Well, he finally did it." The mom, the best part, shot Brian's cock off. The best part was the mom going like, "Oh my god, Davy, you're going to jail." <laughs> <laughs> she had just shot her son. You said, bitch, I can't get your social security no more. I can't play that one, Jackass. Right? Probably. <laughs> what? Fucking gay Elon, who's a cuck, took down the video of the guy cutting his dad's head off. Ooh. Ooh. What a cuck. Ooh. God, bullshit. your DMs are just like fucking Good God. inside of Rikers Island. Yeah, so here's one. This guy sent me a files for a cat box. Let me just... Uh... Mm. He shows it in the first 10 seconds, so don't... Yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to oh, see that fuck. one. fuck. Yeah. I suck at copy and paste on this PC. Hold on. So he um, did he got arrested or did they like give him a medal? <laughs> <laughs> did they go? You are helping out uh, this country and he's. It's so funny to kill you, like, because a lot of people do like they they sort of just talk the talk, you know. He 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 walked. Up. He literally yeah. cut his dad's head off because he said he was like a cuck. Yeah, like a like a political. He was a dim. Yeah, he was a damn lib, and he he cut his head. <laughs> yeah, because he truly thinks his father's bad for the country, yeah. and worked up in some high up government position. Yeah, and if he actually thought his dad was evil, he goes, "Well, my job 
is to eradicate evil from the world. Mm-hmm. And that way I make the world a better place. Can you imagine? Mm-hmm. He's not just trying to get followers or like start right. a podcast or anything. No, he, he actually he, fucking cut it. He really believes off. it. Yeah. He really believes it's like for that. The, for the love of the game. Yeah. Imagine just watching Morning Joe and you're and then all of a sudden you feel a you feel yeah. a knife on your neck. <laughs> Just because you put on your "I'm with her" shirt that morning, <laughs> yep, your pussy hat. Yeah, and your last your last view is your son just cutting your fucking head off. Mm-hmm. You're smiling. Tweet, you're tweeting drump, and then before you know it, your head's in a bag. Yeah, you turn to your son at breakfast, and you go, "Oh, not without Michael Feffy." <laughs> then he crawls over the table and stabs you in the neck and starts <laughs> fucking just sawing through your head. Jesus Christ. That is actually horrifying. It is. Uh, it's. Uh, we're in a terrifying place. Yeah. The way that people die is, is very horrifying. Yeah. I mean, you read about it and like really like that really did happen mm-hmm. to somebody. Mm-hmm. The funniest thing is that that video was on YouTube for six hours and we've had videos be taken down in 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I saw somebody posted to live and die in L.A. on YouTube and it got taken down within three hours. I was so mad. Yeah. Guy's head, you know, they care more about copyright than beheading your father. That's true. It is the Disney yeah, Corp. this uh, this uh, this link this person sent me is actually malware. They wanted me to download. Oh, that's great. Mm. Thanks a lot. Fuck you, you piece of shit. Yeah, I just love your fucking your DMs are like Vietnam. <laughs> There's like little. <laughs> nah, yeah, this... If you step in this hole, there'll be like spikes that stab you and snakes and stuff. It looks like a maximum security prison communicating with each other. <laughs> ben, yeah, Ben's DM should be swung down a hallway on a piece of paper <laughs> with rope. <laughs> Severed head video is here. Warning, this link may be unsafe. Oh, thank yeah, you, Twitter. Yeah, we get it, Twitter. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Well, it could be the head, so you might have some editing to shout do. Shout out to uh, who sent me this. Uh, shout out to Brian Caulfield. Oh, you, it, you got sent it by the guy who cut his dad. That's the guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder yeah. if this will actually work. It's Catbox. What mm. is Catbox? I don't know. Just it's the like new a, streamer. I'm guessing it's like Dropbox, but for it's pedophiles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Rumble for beheadings. It's for minor attracted uh, pet persons. <laughs> <laughs> maps. We call each other maps. Oh, here we go. It's actually okay. So well, he's gonna, he's he gonna sh- pull it out. So before he shows the head, let me just skip a Rooney. All right, I'm looking away in case uh, there is the head. Mm. Does he have? The I head? hope this becomes a trend on TikTok where it's like instead of water talk, it's yeah, cut your dad's head off. Yeah, talk. it's the I, the the uh, ALS ice challenge. <laughs> Yeah, welcome back, guys. I'm doing the kill your parents challenge, the parasite <laughs> challenge. Uh, I wonder if it's actually... Catbox sucks, man. This shit's slow. Yeah. Yeah. Nice I expect, room. I expected more from a, a streamer where you could show a beheaded guy. Yeah. On it. He looks pretty normal. You know yeah, what? He made his bed. I, that was the first thing I noticed. Yeah. yeah. I haven't made my bed in like 30 years. He looks like he'll confront you about the Discord in Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Rotting from... Can we talk about that or should we skip over? No, that? no, no. Go ahead. Go yeah. ahead. So people apparently <laughs> Can we we can really talk about it? It's okay. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Someone emailed me that there's people that are gonna confront me in, in Austin about like people are trying to do a January sixth through for our Discord. Before the Discord or something. They're yeah. gonna like confront me, I guess, about it. I don't know. There's like a mutiny in the Discord. I but I, I gotta confess to you, I couldn't if you asked me to log into the Discord, I wouldn't be able to. I don't know what it is. I don't know where yeah, it I've, is. Yeah, I I haven't checked it uh, in a long, long time. So I, th- I think there's some good people in there and they're having a lot of fun, but there is some infighting. Mm-hmm. They need to figure it out. Sure, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there's some good people in the IDF, you know, but most of them are blowing kids' heads off. From the inside out, as far left, Whoa. woke mobs rampage are one. Yeah, you I guess know, this just won't load. I can almost see him being an asset just from how, like, how do you be that well maintained, like clean, well presentable? Yeah, and like still cut your dad's head off is very weird. Yeah, it is also funny to make a big point about like how the, the morals of our country are going downhill due to the woke mob mm-hmm. and the left, and but you're beheading your father. I know, like you're watching the Andy Griffith show, and you turn to your dad's corpse, you go, "Man, that was a that was a time for this country." <laughs> <laughs> and then you fuck your dad's head that you cut off. And you go, man, I just wish we were like Mayberry. Yeah, exactly. The while good you, old while days. You, while you come out of the bottom of your dad's mm-hmm. neck that's missing. Remember the good old days when I didn't have to come into your severed head, dad? <laughs> but you did this, dad. You did this by <laughs> by being gay online. <laughs> by being an annoying old fag guy. 
Every morning he would walk around singing, "This is my fight song." <laughs> it was just that that final pink song sent him over the edge. Yeah. Well, this 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 yeah, streamer this sucks. sucks. Yeah, I don't, yeah, it might be my Wi-Fi too. My Wi-Fi has been going out around this time, and then it mm-hmm. goes out around like nine thirty in the morning. Is it because it's this really is usually weird. when you're looking at like weird guys getting their heads cut off? It's buffering a little bit. Yeah, I might be. I don't know. Maybe I'm being like my my phones are tapped and stuff. I don't know. It's prosperous cities turning them into lawless zones. Taxpayer dollars are printed and used for anything but the taxpayers, with little to no accountability, which has. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. he is spitting, yeah. honestly. He's yeah. making some great points. Let him points. cook. Yeah, hold up. Let him cook. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo. Yo, I'll, it's Kill Tony. We got the guy who cut his dad's head off. <laughs> Let him cook. You know what's funny is we, we've also been like talking about how this is the most depraved thing like ever. I know a guy in comedy who did this to his mom. He cut his mom's head off. Out in New York? Yeah, New York. He drove down to South Carolina, cut his mom's head off, and then drove it to 30 Rock with some headshots. And he wanted to show his mom's head to Warren Michaels and then give him the headshots. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I know. Pretty crazy. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. How far did he get? Oh, he's he's on the show now. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of a name, but uh, it's Mikey Day. It's, yeah, it was Mikey Day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was, it was A.O., Cut her mom's head off. <laughs> I think she's hosting SNL tonight. Great, yeah. fantastic. Actually, I'm excited I'm, to watch it. She got she got in a little trouble because she talked shit about Jennifer Lopez uh, on a podcast a while back. She's and, in uh, hot water right Jennifer now. Jennifer Lopez is the uh, the musical guest. Mm-hmm. So. Have you been keeping up with that? Oh, I listen. I got a Google alert set for AO. I can't I go, wait. Show me. That'd be great if there was a confrontation. Jennifer Lopez walks up there and slaps her live. Listen up, you little <laughs> black white bitch. You hipster, you like you're you, nothing you, more than like a hipster white bitch in a black body. You you black Diane Keaton <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Fuck your you quirky You think this is fucking Manhattan? <laughs> Zooey De Chanel, black <laughs> Zooey De Chanel ass bitch. I heard what you said. I can't sing. Ben Affleck like starts beating the shit out of A <laughs> on TV. Yeah. Comes in like this character in the town. <laughs> yeah. Boston accent. Cuts to him in the corner smoking a cigarette, just holding his head. Just another day in Affleck's life. Married to this crazy Puerto Rican <sighs> bitch. Just always shutting a door. Oh <laughs> God. Ben Affleck, the most miserable guy ever, who's yeah. banging Jennifer Lopez. Amazing. Do you think a lady like a, a Latino in their like fifties to like look that good? Are they getting lipo like before they brush their teeth every day? Yeah, she's getting the Mexican woman sh- sucked out of her every morning. She'd have to, right? Yeah, because normally she should be shaped like a tombstone at this point. Mm-hmm. She's a fifty-year-old Latino woman. Yeah, she's a, yeah, yeah. She's a fifty-year-old Puerto Rican. She's mm-hmm. she's supposed to be holding a piece of shit white dog with a bunch of like eye gunk. Mm. Yes. But instead, she still looks good and is like dancing all over town. She must uh, she, in her sleep. They must suck the fat out of her. I think you told me that the Kardashians they get lipo like every third, three or four days or something crazy. I don't know if I said that, but yeah, I'm sure that's what that they don't. Maybe I had to. They me don't that. work out. They're not really working out, and they're always eating. They out. just get all the yeah. They're always kind of eating and stuff yeah. on the show. They have like holes cut in their bellies, like those cows, and then you can just reach in and pull the food out that yeah. they eat. Mm. Yeah, they have like doctors that are human face tune. Like every day, they just come. They go, oh, "Do you want the ass this big, that big? Like we can deflate it. We can do yeah. whatever you want." It's like a, it's like one of those new drivers. Like you just pull a tool out and you kind of like tighten it a little bit. Yeah, you know exactly. They have those tiny uh, screwdrivers for yeah. like glasses. <laughs> they just, <laughs> they just, they just little, do a little work and just twist a little. Did you have you seen by the way the guy? This one kind of all the guy who was doing. These insane facelets where he cuts the entire face yes. off and then just sews it back a little bit further. Yes, the, he was he's like doing like Comanche <laughs> surgery on people. These people were going and they look they're just like ugly. They go in oh, yeah. and they, they look like they died and came back to life. A plastic oh, surgeon yeah. who's just scalping people. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, like it's Rob Zombies <laughs> like fucking in Beverly Hills giving surgeries to people. Yeah, no, it's literally guys who are like, Well, I'm forty three, it's time to look like a bone tomahawk victim. <laughs> It's time to get my face cut off in a big tube they're getting in my little, throat. They're getting little bone whistles put in their throat. Yeah. So they keep walking yeah. out of the Beverly Hills office and go, Hey! On top of the Hollywood sign. 
A guy, yeah, a guy. A guy go into a Beverly Hills plastic surgeon and be like, can you cut all my feet and arms off <laughs> so I can be a big pillow, a pussy pillow? I'm saving up. I'm saving up so I could get surgery at a brawl in cell block 99. <laughs> You know, I want to be in um, that pain universe from Brawl and yeah. Cell Block 99. Can you kick my head in while I lay on the ground? Can you have Vince Vaughn step on my face? And it explode <laughs> for some reason? Because we're in an alternate reality where, yeah. where violence is built into the fiber of every person's being. You should post it on Twitter where it's like, uh, this is my plastic surgeon. And then it's Vince Vaughn kicking that guy's head into that shit. That mm-hmm. shit. In that shithole toilet thing in the ground yeah, at the yeah. end of Brawl and Saw Buck 99. Dude, I, I do love that movie just for those scenes where he oh, grabs so he grabs good. a guy's arm and then just pops his entire bone out of it. Mm. Like he rips a guy's skeleton out of his body out of his old, like yeah. a cartoon. I feel like God watching that movie. I know. It really it really is white crack. It's, it's white crazy cocaine. too because there's that, that Celtic cross on the back of yeah. his head which is just like a swastika essentially and it's in every shot. He, yeah. but he has a shaved head but he's not a Nazi. But he's Wink. Wink. It's a whole movie. Because he loves his daughter. Yeah, the, in the beginning of the movie, he goes, by the way, I'm not a Nazi. Wink. <laughs> then you get to watch the whole movie. Big. And then Craig Zoller gives a big thumbs up. <laughs> Craig Zoller goes, we're not, we not killing any black yeah. people. They go, no, his friend said the N-word and Vince Vaughn was kind of uncomfortable, mm-hmm. but not really. Hey, M- Malcolm Jamal White was in this uh, movie for a second. It is funny the first guy he kills in prison is the black uh, the black guard that's like kind of being nice to him actually yeah, yeah, yeah. like apologizing it's a weird to him term, and he yeah. just beats the living fuck out uh, yeah, of him. Yeah, a guy who's like, hey, I could you know I could give you some boxing lessons or whatever, and then he, uh, he just shoves his throat out yeah. of the back of his head. It really is a whole movie about the the bald uh, character in GTA Five, the guy that like lives in the desert that like the racist oh, we character in GTA Five. We weren't allowed to play that game growing up. I missed. No, that. it came out I think when you guys were we were. I comedy. called my mom. She said I couldn't buy it. No. <laughs> Understood. I was 24. I was still Christian. Wait, when did, did it come out? Like in our 20s? Yeah, I think so. It was the one where it had you could play with three characters: the black oh. dude, the mafia guy, and then there was this like white trash like redneck who was bald and just. I'm saving up for the really racist black version, so I've been waiting for that. I can't wait for the female one coming out. I know. Yeah. 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 Where you can just you can just rape a giant ass black woman yeah. in Miami. What's the whole thing with speaking of women ruining everything? What is with mm. the new True Detective? Reality. <laughs> no. I saw no. Nick what's, even... What's with my house? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? What's going on in the parameters of my home? I think Nick even said something in an interview that it's like... Nick Pizzolatto? Yeah, he said like it's dog shit or Yeah, he something. said it's really fucking stupid because they're trying to connect season four and season yeah. one. So in the new season, they have like the spiral... It's a and- steaming pile of shit and they yeah. keep trying to uh, relate like that like Russ Cole's mom's in... Because in, it's in Alaska. Yeah. You know how Russ used to say he was, you know spent all that time in Alaska. They're trying to like create a connection to season one. That's it's, retarded. It's an awful show. It's the most boring thing I've ever watched. It's yeah. like watching like rocks investigate trees. <laughs> the two lead Jodie Foster, no charisma for some reason now, and then it's this like indigenous lady who sucks ass, and they just both keep <laughs> forcing men to come inside of them. The whole show it makes no. I have no clue what's Wait, going is on. Is that real? Two first episode, this indigenous lady holds a guy down, makes him come inside of her, force cream pie. Second episode, <laughs> Jodie Foster holds a guy down, makes him come inside of her. Huh. I have no clue what's happening. And then all the murders are just like, like seven people die in like the snow and they're all just like, Aah. and it, it's like, no one, it doesn't make any sense. It's a bad joke. How does the, how does the plot how does the plot get developed or how does the character change from forcing a man to come inside? Nothing them? matters. It's meaningless. It's, Are they it's having awful. a baby? It's I don't I have no clue why they're doing it. I haven't kept up. I didn't I watched half of season episode, episode three. I did somebody was telling me that I think like four out of the five main characters are like black women. In the show, it's all it's like women like, kicking a, ass, but but, it, but it's a detective agency in Alaska, which is insane. Yeah, there's not four black women. Not to, to turn to Owen Benjamin over here, but there's not like four. No, black women people in that try state. to pretend that they're like not Jackie they're Brown like, never existed or none of these movies. Yeah, ever that's existed. true. They but, act like they're the first one to ever have a black woman in anything, but and not, they've ignored black people forever. They're not really black. I don't really know. Like they're not. Uh, you know, it's not like a lady named like you know whatever. It's not like an. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, pass, pass. Yeah. I couldn't think of one, but yeah. I actually you, couldn't think of one. We're actually doing a bit now where you at home can put your own yeah. racist name into the exactly. bit. Exactly. That's it's fill in the blank. We're gonna become the show will become like Dora the Explorer, where we're like, Can you think of a name for the black lady? <laughs> They're like the 
very good. They're like indigenous black. Like, you know, the mom is black and the dad's like a seal or something. <laughs> sure. It's like that. You mean like uh, Aboriginal? I guess. Mm-hmm. Ice Aborigines. Or do you or something. mean like Easter Island black? I don't know. They're up in the. They're the. the An ice donkey. The, yeah. You know, yes. up there. <laughs> <laughs> And she's got like gauges. Like it looks like she like goes to zoomies a lot. Sure, she looks like she does the haka before a sporting event. <laughs> she's solving crimes on like a penny board and in bands yes. and shit. I, you've never seen two lead characters with less charisma. <laughs> you go, you look at that's it, you, insane because Jodie Foster's great when she was thirteen. Yeah, getting then, raped, getting raped all around town. Sure, <laughs> but now, now it's gross. Now it sucks. <laughs> You, have, uh, you're, you look like Leatherface, and you're forcing men to come inside you. Yeah, and you have, and I don't, and all, every mm-hmm. line you deliver stinks. If she was a 50 year old woman in the original Taxi Driver, the scene, the movie would end with him walking in and blowing her brains out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, giving a thumbs up to everybody else yeah. and leaving. It's a, uh, it's bizarre. They, there's also like a, just an obligatory like Blood Meridian. Like somebody puts down Blood Meridian. And you can tell they're just yeah. trying to make it seem like it's deeper than well, it is. I've told you before. They're trying to make these moments in TV shows. Where it's clearly going to be a thing that becomes a meme on Twitter and people yes. share it. Yeah. And that's the only way the show exists. That's why they make, yeah, they make shows. And they think we all can't meme. see past that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They think none of us can see what the fuck they're doing. Sorry, you're not going to be like Tim Robinson and have these like, you're right. not going to be in the cool Twitter yeah. a crew bullshit <laughs> Put thing. Put on a hot dog outfit, Jody. <laughs> But now that's a way great more show. interesting. Jody, that's a fucking great you know show. Way better show. You know what would be a great sketch if we committed to a weird premise, but like really committed hard, like yelled through it, and that's the whole sketch. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be that that be the most genius thing? Mm. I swear to God, the, the, I think you should leave. And the IO stuff on Twitter makes me feel like I'm going mentally insane, specifically. Yeah, I know. I did the whole like just where where it's that thing where everything's like goaded. Yeah. And you're not quite sure what the body of work is, really. Dude, or like the, stuff, what the, the stuff I see about Io, they're like, she forgot her phone at the table. Ha ha. And I'm like, what is that? Yeah, like, I love her so much. Did you see her, like, hug her mom? The new thing yeah, is like, people is go. That, I literally, like, I want to hold somebody down and be like, what is she? What does she do? Well, the, She's not good at acting. The new thing is people She's go. Uh, people go, hey, yo, who got that one Io clip? And everyone, quote, tweets it with their favorite stuff, and people go through and retweet it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the most popular one is Io going, mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People are like, God damn, she's got it. God yeah. damn, I love being 39 and pretending to know what black people like. I love it. I love being yeah. a guy who failed out of my dream career and, uh, you know, raped a bunch of women in Brooklyn and then <laughs> just go on Twitter and go, yo, yo yeah. who got the AO clip? Yep. But I love being the it, I love being the liberal version of Brooklyn to find that. Isn't it interesting all the that the you never see uh, a black woman named like Charlene Washington being goaded with the sauce at mm. the Golden Globes, being mm. beloved by everybody on Twitter and all these like white hipsters. There's, That's a very good point. It's always kind of like a you know, kind of a whitish first gender you know their african name mm-hmm. whatever you know maybe i'm not the person it's to, exotic i'm gonna start going around town and speaking about this am i the person for that you can just start renting out <laughs> yeah. like conference rooms and Young hotels brothers and sisters what is we, with all these first generation african ladies we, dominating hollywood we did not land on viacom viacom landed on us Remember black Americans. <laughs> Remember black Americans. Wow, crazy black Americans. There, it's rare. You know, it's rare to see a. You know, what's the last? Who's the last I person they gave it up to? Monique. Yeah. For precious. I don't even think they gave it up to Did her. Did they even really? give it up to her? No. Like, like I said, I, we've said it before on the podcast, but there's like every year there's like one you know like stinky guy. They go here you go, and then go away, mm-hmm. never again. This is why you need like a savant white guy or like a really good Jew behind these things. Like if you put Nathan Filder in charge of the new True Detective, now we're cooking with gas. Mm, right, we're really yeah. cooking with gas. Mm. Nathan Filder uh, trying to convince a guy to become a uh, like to run a sex trafficking ring in Louisiana. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it'd be incredibly interesting. And he already mm. kind of seems like he does that. Nathan for you, Detective. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He probably already does that for fun. Yeah. I can't tell if he's brilliant or just liter- genuinely that weird, and it's just it looks like amazing art. Yeah, I've been around him. I used to work on Nathan for you. I was a PA. I know a lot of people that have worked on sets with him, and they go, "Yeah, he's great," but I never want to speak to him again or be around him. Ever. Oh, he's, he's just the most uncomfortable weirdo I've just ever. Just like pure autism. Just yeah, it gives you nothing. Yeah, he always made me laugh. And his one time I was driving them around in a van, and Nathan go. It was Nathan and all of his writers. 
And Nathan goes, where are we? And I go, oh, we're in Studio City. And he goes, huh, more like Studio Shitty. <laughs> and no one laughed. There were 10 people in the van, and they all like looked up from their... Mm-hmm. Like, it's the shitty LA. Like They have the glasses and the hat, and they like look up from their phone. They're like, well, I make... I make eight thousand dollars a day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then they just look back down at their phone and they be shitty. I do kind of, I do kind of love that. Like you're doing dice clay for yourself for yeah. no reason is kind of fun. I like him a lot. I, the curse is pretty like yeah, unique Nathan, and brilliant. No, Nathan's yeah. great. Yeah, he's great. The curse I thought was very good as well. Yeah. I, I, I very much enjoyed that. Yeah. One time, I one time I was working on this Scientology set for the Leah Romini show, and I remember one of the producers was like this guy that he was like. He was always a guy. He was like, he looked like, um, who's that bald guy who's in a lot of uh, movies? He's fucking uh, uh, Bruce Willis. No, fuck. I, I don't know why I'm blanking on his name. What he, movie is he's he? He's glasses in? and bald, and he's always a side character and stuff, and he's thin. Can we? We're gonna figure it out after, and you're gonna flash it on the screen. I'm gonna make you do 30 more minutes of editing. Okay, that's reason. actually fine. But anyway, he was one of those guys that was always just like he was always like rubbing his temples like. <sighs> like this even though he didn't do anything on set and just made all the fucking money mm. the guy that would sit there and like open up his macbook and then like make a couple right. demands and then he would ignore everyone the entire time and he's making 99 percent of the money that guy he would he would just sit there and like rub his temples like this and just be like i'm so fucking sick of my mercedes I'm thinking about going to BMW. He literally said that. that yeah. He said yeah. that to me and another guy, and we were like, "Oh yeah." He's like, "It's just." Mm-hmm. He goes, "I got to just change. I got to mix it he up." He goes, sometimes. "Which company was responsible for killing more Jews? <laughs> Which company <laughs> like owned the ovens?" <laughs> There's something about making that much money and being in LA that you just turn into like maybe the most miserable person. No, you really do. <laughs> you really do. Because you walk around, you go, "I make twelve thousand dollars a day, yeah. no matter what." I have a I have a beautiful but, life. Everyone dreams of. I was given it because my name's Jewy mm-hmm. Jewison. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I have a beautiful life yeah. I was given because my I was born into it and yeah. was walked into Ivy League college. I run seven shows that are, that are the equivalent of patty cake yeah. on TV. I ruined it. Uh, I have a show called One Two Buckle My Shoe. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what do you do on the show? I walk around the set and I hold the bridge of my nose like this and I go, oh, fuck. Yeah. I, I have to up my Prozac. Uh, oh, my job man. is, so I have a very complicated job. I, um, You know how it costs $400 million to make female Hulk? I, it's because I get seventy five percent of that. I'm doing um, right. I'm doing intense money laundering, and I'm ruining America mm-hmm. while I'm doing it. Yeah, <laughs> but I fucking my wife's a fucking cunt and a bitch. All those guys have the have the like the most sterile homes too. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it, I used to sell I used to sell home security to those people. They live in they live in those homes where it's a big box home. It's concrete, five stories, concrete, and there's uh, glass in the living room. Like they live in a human aquarium. They want to make sure all the poor people can see them, have a good time and a good life. Yeah, <laughs> they want to live like a lizard. Yeah. And they go, oh, you like you watching the Super Bowl with me? And then they turn their blinds and they flip off of a family of homeless people. They they look like they they're vegan hitmen, mm-hmm. like they sleep on like a blue bottle coffee bench. <laughs> I hate them all. They they're they're slowly ruining uh, like Echo Park and stuff. Every house popping up is one of those. Now they knock them down. They're not that they level of, of, a... of these people live in like the Hollywood Hills and shit. But yeah, they all. You're right though. They build a, a, a terrarium for themselves. Yes, with build... like a big red light, and mm-hmm. they they sit on a stone like a lizard. They yeah. want poor people to look at them like they're in <laughs> yeah. like they're in the wealthy aquarium. Yeah, and they open. They lean out the window. And they go. I'm not appreciating this. By the way, <laughs> I'm wasting it. <laughs> You might as well throw the money right in the trash. Might as well throw it in the toilet, which I am. (laughs) I flush it down the toilet. I was given this life, enjoy striving, and then dying of cancer because you can't afford medication. You know what's funny about those guys, (laughs) too? Those guys uh, love to justify... uh, uh, They go, well, "Well, everybody else is miserable, but Mm -hmm. I make all the money. And so, like, I'd rather, like, make all the money and, and be miserable rather than be poor and be miserable. It's like, yeah. no, everybody else is actually a lot happier than you. Yeah, they go, no, 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 no. Me being a huge piece of shit has not ruined my life at all. <laughs> it was, that's how life is. No, everybody lives in hell, not just me. And they and they will mm-hmm. walk they will walk up to you and, like, say the most, like, insane. Like, you're a PA on the show, and the guy will literally be like, do you prefer Bugatti or Porsche? What do you think? You're like I don't. I'm. I, I eat soup for breakfast. They're like, 
Right. I saw this guy. <laughs> I saw this guy get brought the wrong uh, salad mm-hmm. by a PA, and he was like, "I specifically said no avocado." And he put down his knife and fork where it was like audible, and he he took off his glasses and went. <sighs> he goes, "No, it's fine. It's fine." He goes, "I'll just take it off." It's fine. I'll just go home and rape my maid tonight. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. Juanita will die like, tomorrow. It's literally just on top of the salad. Just take it off. I know. Just do that. But that's not like once. Like, he didn't order. Like, wait, you want him to take it back to the restaurant and they take it off? He didn't order the salad to eat it and enjoy it. He ordered it for it to be wrong. He probably gave the guy wrong directions. That's actually yeah. probably right. He yeah. probably schemes. He probably plans his order based on what they can get wrong, and then he can rub his eyes and be like, <sighs> yeah. God, my life is perfect. Fuck. Damn it. No, it's, it's actually like, his own head like a stress ball. Yeah, no, I mean when I when I sold security to these people after like three months, every day in the Hollywood Hills, you you were kind of like, oh, I like it's all fa-. you, you realize it's all fake because every single woman is like you meet her and she's they're just, miserable. There, there's these tiny little dog women that have like had yeah. all the fucking blood sucked out of their bodies. That's why they live at the top of these mountains where like if they order food, it takes the delivery driver forty five minutes to get there with this never ending windy like Mister Toad's wild ride drive, and you go, but you're rich. Like, why do you want to? Why do you have such an annoying, like, don't you get annoyed yeah. having to drive down this hill all the time? But it's like, you can tell because they're so dead inside. They're like, I, at least I, I need a cartoon style drive home. Like, I like yeah. my drive home to be wacky. They're, they're like, like villains. Mean, they have to live in the mountains. Yeah. Yeah. Like, cre- like they're Grinch. Their or family doesn't speak. The kids hate them. Mm-hmm. And they're like, yeah, but at least every time I drive home, I could drive right <laughs> off this cliff. <laughs> I, I, it makes them feel powerful. Yeah. yeah, they're like, I just need to. My goal is to pay a Mexican guy fifteen dollars to get me a fork <laughs> and drive it to my house, and it ruins his day. Takes four hours. They're the type of people they order Mexican food and then they scream at their assistant. They go, "There's bread in this." <laughs> Beans? What is this shit? I said no carbs, you fucking piece of shit. I'll fucking kill you. And then they and then and then they tweet about how MAGA people yeah. are out of their fucking mind mm-hmm. and cutting heads off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, they have the once upon a time in Hollywood flamethrower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're just just right to Jorge's head. Yeah. Because he brought the wrong smoothie. Right to <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll show you Berea. <laughs> I used to think, by the way, all those ladies, like, especially when I moved to L.A., I'd never seen someone with plastic surgery. Ever. Yeah. The only plastic surgery we saw growing up was when a lady got eaten by a dog or something. (laughs) Yeah. And, like... When the dog shit her out? The dog shit her out, and they had to sew her back (laughs) up. On, like, Oprah. That was the lady. We did know a lady who got her head chopped off in, like, a wood press in high school, and Mm -hmm. she had a big... She had Chubbs Peterson's hand walking around. Oh, yeah. No, you guys probably like saw like Shark Tale and then came here and you're like, everyone looks like in Shark Tale. <laughs> Why does everybody look like uh, Geppetto <laughs> in um, a Del, uh, Del Toro? Dude, do you remember Pinocchio. that? Do you remember that guy in Woodshop class? He had a uh, Huntington's disease. The one where like you, it's a uh, that guy had Huntington's. It's like, isn't it the disease where if you find out you have it, you live, you die when you're like 22 or something? There's something and like it's an, that. It's There's like a 50 percent transfer. Yeah, you, to you your get kid. it. You get it. You look like Olivia Wilde for five years and then you die mm-hmm. like at 27. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Th- uh, that guy cut off both of his thumbs at once somehow. Yeah, that guy had Huntington's. He Fuck. was he was doing one of those things. The, wood, the, the wood. table saw. Oh, right. Table saw. He had his thumbs like this. Yeah. No, he literally... He literally... I asked somebody who was there. He literally... He went through both of them. No. He was, I asked somebody who was there. I was like, how do you do it? He's like, dude, I swear to God, he literally just put his thumb into the blade. <laughs> like, it looked like he cut it off on purpose. But why is he pushing it with his thumbs overlapped yeah, behind Yeah, no, he literally... He, they were overlapped, and he pushed them both into the blade. What I never understood is you would stop once one gets cut off. No, no, you wouldn't go through one. Dude, he and almost, then the he other. almost went through his chest. He almost kept going. <laughs> kept going. Like it was like it was a Bond torture device. Goes, well, this is more painful than usual. <laughs> that guy also, I was he was in my grade, and that guy first of all probably he, dead now. He looked he's definitely dead. He yeah, looked like he, he looked like Timmy from South Park. <laughs> the one with the was it Timmy or Jimmy? Yeah, yeah. But no, he looked like Jimmy, the one in the wheelchair. Timmy, Timmy. Yeah, he looked like Jimmy that was one. the cripple. Okay, yeah, yeah, so, so he looked Timmy. like Timmy. But he Cheyenne. didn't have anything wrong with him, by the way. He just had a huge head. Well, apparently right. he had Huntington's. Well, I mean, he, but he wasn't like you would see him. You go, oh, he is like a mental disability. He was shaped like a human balloon on a string. That's mm-hmm. what his body. He looked his like Mister Mackey, actually. Yeah, his body looked like you would walk through the zoo holding him by his feet. <laughs> As his head drifted behind you and above you. He 
is in my grade. It was after PE. I was in the hallway. I just walked out. They had these lockers and they had these huge metal benches. They would put on top of the lockers. I, they weighed, I swear to God, like fucking 400 pounds, something like that, like crazy. Like it took five guys to lift it up there. He had put his jacket up there. They had put the benches up because they were doing something in the lockers. He came in and he, he, he went to grab his jacket and apparently he couldn't get it. And then he just like went like that. Corner of the bench went down on the fucking top of his head. Dude, I forgot about that. Cracked his fucking skull open. Dude. Final destination Jeez. style. Final accidents. destination. I was I was like walking to class and then like I walked back and there was just blood all over the floor. Like I heard people screaming and shit. And he was just like holding his skull, like blood was seeping out of his. And then like three months later, he cut both of his thumbs off. <laughs> Good God! It's it's the guys that like literally get crushed by vending machines and die because yeah. their Snickers won't fall. No, it's guys who are so retarded they become like Mr. Magoo, but like with dire consequences. <laughs> There's no cute part where they're walking across a beam that gets lifted on a construction site and no. walk perfectly to another building. They all they all get get crushed by machinery. <laughs> I think they reattached his thumbs though, but they didn't really they like kind of work backwards. <laughs> He's like, I so, asked him to do this. He goes, so he goes, I, I hold stuff on the top of my hands. <laughs> they go, well, that, we couldn't save the thumb, so we ate him. So anyway, that was the closest thing I knew to plastic surgery. I'm right. like, oh right, when you get your hands cut off, they put them <laughs> right when you, oh right when you get your hands cut off and they sew pig feet to your hands. <laughs> Plastic surgery. <laughs> Dude, when I moved to LA, I was like, wow, every single woman is like the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Like the plastic surgery trick actually really worked on me. And now at the point, I'm 31 now. I, yeah. I guess I moved here when I was, what, 20, 21? Something like that. At this point now, it's starting to become really, and I'm not trying to be this guy that's like, dude, I'm not into like fake women. Like, I don't like, like, how would, why would, who, who would want to have sex with Kim Kardashian? Right. Like, I'm not that type of retard. Yeah. But the faces are all starting to look really, they're all looking the exact same to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're all looking really, it doesn't justify looking at photos of these people, by the way. If you actually see them in person every day, it starts to fucking creep you out because it feels like you're in an, uh, you see that movie Anomalisa? Yeah. Where everybody has the exact same voice. Mm-hmm. All these people are starting to become actually really like hideous. And it like it makes me nauseous to be around them. Mm-hmm. Well, they you feel a- like you can't get away from them because they you all are, look the exact you same. You are disturbed by them because it's, it's literally like an uncanny valley thing. You look at them, you're like, a face can't look like that. Like, that's actually impossible. And it's all got too good is yeah. the thing. And they're all copying each other. It's Dude, it's getting... It's really starting to get really fucking ugly. I don't yeah. know if there's going to be... Like if event because you were talking, you were bringing up the plastic surgery thing of how weird people are looking. I know we talk about plastic surgery a lot, but I mean we're fucking around it. Do we? Is that? A- I, I guess maybe not. Actually, no. you've been on the subreddits too much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> people will just dig up some like, hey, when they drink Diet Coke, <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> grasping for straws of why we suck like we're not better than everything else you know made. mom reads every post on the subreddit by well the way. i'm just gonna pretend i didn't hear that well i guess they know that now so just they can write messages okay. that is true okay well gotta delete that <laughs> gotta delete that if, if, if we've learned our lesson ah! but anyway i don't do that but uh anyway the, the, the bitches are fucking ugly and i like women all natural I want their titties to sag down below their pussy. Well, they all they all get that. Uh, yeah, same, of course. But <laughs> same, we all love ugly women. Yeah, <laughs> we all like it when women get ugly and worthless. They're getting that like <laughs> that the the buckle fat thing, and yeah, the, then yeah, the and buccal then fat. buccal fat, and then like in like uh, an amount of time, like they won't have any natural collagen, so they're just going to start looking like you it's know, like Holocaust ha- victims. Like yeah, their face is just going to start drooping. Like like that Jacob Elordi guy lost like a bunch of weight. And he was on SNL, and I was like, "You like, you're like kind of ugly now. Mm-hmm. You 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 look kind of creepy." We were I, watching SNL, and I was like, "Wait, is this the heartthrob guy?" You guys were about? you guys watch SNL without me? Mm. God damn it! Hey, you went home early the other night, and we had ourselves a film. You're welcome day. to stay for tonight. All right, all right. Well, as long as Ao's on. <laughs> Wait, she is on tonight. She is on with J Lo. Oh, man, I, I, we should watch that and just throw stuff at the TV. <laughs> Me and David put on SNL, and like we we're like, there's this sketch where it's like Bo and Yang comes out, and he's wearing a Stewie Griffin shirt, and yeah. he's doing like which, impressions of Stewie, which apparently is like a running gag, and that's like one of their, that's like their Stefan, like that's like a classic character. Dude, now, we go, this is the worst thing we've ever seen, and then it was like all the comments were like, love that this is the seventh time they've done this exact sketch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's my favorite thing. Beautiful. Like it's that's their Matt Foley is Bo and Yang comes out in a stew because they're always eight years behind Twitter, by the way. Like they just fi- figured out about like Black Homer 
and like all these like the like cat Will Ferrell accounts and all mm-hmm. this stuff where it's like funny to quote Family Guy. This was a big thing in like 2014, 2015 Twitter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're 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 so far behind everybody that they're finally doing these skits on SNL thinking they're the cool like current. I think they just go to Twitter and copy paste stuff. Yeah, yeah and just get people to do shit. Yeah, I mean Bones. Yeah, before the studio, I didn't know about the Stewie Griffin thing, but before that, he would just he'd do one sketch every week, and it was he'd get dressed like a giant ant in like a nine thousand dollars suit that took four hours to get, in, and he'd come out and be like, "Hey, I'm the fag ant." <laughs> <laughs> It'd be all we get updated. And she's like, I, what if I can't leave, but I suck cock? And everybody's like, woo. Yeah, they just kind of the whole thing. He's like, I'm I'm gay, but I'm Chinese. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, damn, that's hilarious. They're like, damn, that sucks. Dude, the, the monologue, you know, and then they cut to the audience and it's like, Oh, but that isn't someone random from the audience who just stood it's up. It's a writer. It's actually Brad Pitt or, yeah, or, yeah, or yeah. whatever, or a writer. Like it cuts to like, Someone stands up during the monologue and yells, and it happens mm-hmm. to be like, oh, Bo and Yang was planted in the audience, yeah. and he can't get a word out because people are just screaming. Oh, he's goaded. Mm-hmm. He's like he's legendary. Ba- he's yeah, people, people are acting like he's Elvis Presley, like grabbing yeah. at his clothing and stuff. And what's the thing they like? like what is Bowen? He's gay and Chinese, Ben. Yeah. Sit down. What more do you need, Ben? <laughs> well, like with Farley, you could go like, you know, van down by the river. You could yell like anything, right? You could yell like nine different it's things. It's that Soho gay community that just likes milk toast gays. <laughs> 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 and them being that, gay is their personality. That's, t- basically, ben, that's TV. That's TV. They want black people who are white, and they want gay people who suck. <laughs> that that, that they is that's they, TV. Yeah, they dive into like these cultures full of life and like interesting people who are yeah. making great art. And they go get him out of here. They go get out of the way. <laughs> Ayo's in here somewhere. Get him. <laughs> It is amazing. Also, SNL like they have one guy, James Austin Johnson, the only person that I see like do like brilliant impressions. Yeah, James yeah. is great. And then everyone else that they give an impression to, it'll just be somebody like, "Hey, I'm Little Wayne." <laughs> and, like no attempt at like any voice, or they're just they, have, mm-hmm. they put they put dreads on them and mm-hmm. they go. I'm Little Wayne, Young Money, Cash Money, baby. And then everyone just acts like, "Wow, these are like the professionals we have." Mm-hmm. Well, it's also funny. I've seen I've seen clips where they they do cut to the audience, like you said, and the whole audience I realized is because I fucked a lot of these women. They're twenty seven year old women working in TV, making forty grand a year. That's literally all of them. Yeah, it's all those type. They of only women. make forty grand a year. Yeah, I fucked a bunch of them. I know how much they make. <laughs> I, fu- I, fu- I dated more than a couple people. But you're who talking did about that. the women who like write on like YouTube no, TV no, no, kids no, no, shows. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the people who like work in casting at Nick Jr. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah those yeah. type of people. Yeah, <laughs> you work in yeah. casting at Nick Jr. You don't, you you're don't, dating that woman. And you did. better pray you're a pedophile. And I did for what? <laughs> but I was trying to get to blue. <laughs> um, no. Uh, it's literally that's that's a secret of uh, L.A. that like all casting departments are run by twenty-seven-year-old white women that suck, and I'm dating. Yeah, <laughs> it really it's really is true. It is. Yeah, it's 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 white women who are twenty-seven. They're, they're always they're, on their MacBook. Yeah, they have yeah. A, they have an apartment they share in Burbank. They love New Girl, and they're just going like, well, how can, can we get Nicole Byer to do this? And mm-hmm. that's it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. they're like they're like the they're the cinematographer on Wizards of Waverly Place, mm-hmm. or like a show where you're like, is is there cinematography? I don't even. Yeah. Is that even a real mm-hmm. job description? They're, they're very successful in a career that makes you want to kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, they're very successful in a career where at a party you're like, I, you know, I work on Baby Shark, and people are like, oh, you, you should not do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm the stunt coordinator on on the Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. You're like, oh, you should get into welding, maybe get your certificates. <laughs> That's that sucks. <laughs> well, rather than uh, watch something good tonight, I want to watch the IO SNL. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I'm only interested because of the controversy. By the way, that doesn't make it doesn't make you a hater to watch shit you don't like. It's actually really fun to watch shit that's not good. No, it's no. it's. It, I watch Will and Dawn. I watch like tons of shit I hate. And also, people, it's great when people call you a hater. It's like, yes, I am. Everything is very bad, and yeah. I hate it. Mm-hmm. It's a logical reaction to our existence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why would I? And I, and I only imagine, hate things that are bad because I love things I love so much that are good. Exactly. I'm yeah. a hater. Imagine being a liker. What a miserable existence to be a liker. Yep. <laughs> to be like, hey, you know what I love? 
the new thing I'm supposed to love. Yeah, exactly. What a piece What's of the worthless point? shit. What's the point? You might as well the be a liker. You might as well be a bull a billboard in the mall. Yeah, that's what you are as a person. <laughs> yeah, you go. What I like the thing that the thing the government and a corporation <laughs> told me to like. They're like, you know what I love? I love manufactured consent. I actually love that. That's beautiful. Right. We kind of like the new Avengers. We thought it was good. We thought it was good because we're retarded <laughs> and we have no taste. We don't really thinking. have any critical thinking. Yeah, exactly. They, they tried I to s- give hater negative connotation to to like cut out yes. any criticism mm-hmm. of like quality yeah. or Dude, anything. H- hating haters is a psyop probably. Yeah. It's probably like by big media. They're trying to spread dissent. It's like when they send FBI agents down to a like a like a protest, then the mm-hmm. FBI guys will start like causing mm-hmm. trouble. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They're, they're trying doing to a Jan, Jan six for haters. They're mm-hmm. trying to Ruby Ridge haters. That's mm-hmm. right. Yeah. We're in this podcast studio like Waco. We're the last We're holding down left. the fort. Yeah. We're drinking Coke Zero and we're gonna say something sucks. Yeah. We're the last <laughs> podcast left. Other people are tweeting that IO rules because I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. It but you go me. on. There's 45 million people that there's, think she is there's the people, God's gift. I like and respect who says Io's good at comedy. And then I, I go, Bleh! and I gag because I can't believe what's happening. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. yeah, it's, I mean, her, whatever. You could like her in like movies and shows and stuff, but the comedy, it's kind of funny no, she you got. Can't. It's kind of funny she got. You can't because she is bad at acting. <laughs> gotta, <laughs> it's kind of. <laughs> It's funny she's getting in trouble for the 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 comedy career she used to fake have. Fake have. Fake yeah. have, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it's going to be very, um, it's very fun. I mean, her acting is literally like when they have an athlete on SNL. It's like reading goo cards. She, she, you know, it's going to be like Michael Jordan in Space Jam. Yeah, no, she dude, she literally looks like like what Mar- they said Marlon Brando did on The Godfather, but did well. <laughs> she's doing, I'm like, is she reading that off of Jeremy Allen White's head? <laughs> God, she sucks ass. But I'm I'm sick I'm, of him I'm, too. I'm sick of his fucking I'm ass. Sick I of watched that the guy. Iron Claw and I was like, that is fucking yeah. shitty acting. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. Fuck that nose with legs. I am sick of him. You Fuck fucking his, weird shape. Fuck him acting all coy about his fucking photo shoot. He acted like, oh, I didn't even remember doing that oh. Calvin Klein ad. Oh, oh, I'm a little uncomfortable and nervous yeah. about this. Shut yeah. up. Fuck your I'm James Dean in like the 50s doing like serious acting bullshit. I do not like his acting. Anyway, people are like, "Oh, well, you hate everything." Yes. No, I I found a podcast uh, by sixth graders that I really like, and yeah. they talk about their favorite soda. Yeah, that's great. And then I watched In Cindy's today, <laughs> the critically acclaimed film from 2010, and it was good. Even if a hater is wrong, at least they're trying to care about it, like yes. thinking on a critical level. I mean, because it's that's it, true. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Is like the likers are making things disappear. I built this huge list of movies I've been trying to watch, like classic movies movies yeah. i haven't got to and i just go down the every day i go down the list i'm like oh maybe i'll watch that and then i look it up and it's like it's not available anywhere yeah. you literally can't watch it if you I've done that with like nine movies if you like row. everything what's yep. the point you do you even exist exactly like you sh- okay then just die i guess right. like what's the point you're of, the half- anything you experience you know you'll like you know you'll like so who why even watch it right there's just no mystery sit, just sit in the dark room right. and go, i loved everything <laughs> yeah. my whole life and that's it for me Time to die. <laughs> You're an idiot. You're a fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah, go to the movie theater, buy a ticket, and go home. And go home. Like, go home. I'm sure it's great. I loved it. I loved it. Didn't even watch it. <laughs> they read my ticket and I said, wow, what a movie. And I went home. <laughs> they go, I love, I love being a battery for the machines in the Matrix. <laughs> I think it's great. I'm a good little cog. I'm I, a happy human sheep. I love being a tiny little cog and a big machine destroying me that I love. Bitch. Fuck uh, you. Is Amazon charging $3 to have it be ad free? I like that. Amazon's a great company doing great things. That's necessary because when you look at the power structure. Uh. People made me feel crazy my whole life for like caring about yeah. stuff. Like you're just supposed to say everything's good. People people treat you if you care about stuff. People treat you like you're like you're mean. You're yeah. mentally insane. Which then made me mean. Yes. So now I hate it and I call yeah. you a fag. Yeah, we have. We have. <laughs> fag never yeah. used to be a part of the equation. I would just respectfully disagree and be like, I just don't like that. But everyone mm-hmm. gaslit me, and now I go, you're a fucking asshole, faggot, piece of shit, and what you like stinks. 
Yeah, you evolved a tough shell. Like uh, you're one of those like dinosaurs with big claws on their hands. Yeah. Well, you're kind of like an abused dog in like an animal shelter, mm-hmm. essentially. Mm-hmm. You've been pushed into this corner, and now like someone goes to pet you, and you like, yeah. <laughs> you're Jesus. It's like, all right, all right. SNL season thirty nine is not that great, I guess. Okay. It's like a video, like the Dodo videos, where like malnourished dogs they find in a barn. This little hater right. I found. Yeah, they're trying to try to slide it, trying to slide a DVD of of uh, the Bear season two. And you're going, and you're 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 wrapped around fucking like a Scorsese box set. This little hater had mange when we found him. This this little guy, he tried to watch the movie Silence by Scorsese and went insane. <laughs> Uh, well, patreon.com slash living party, uh, living party dot life for the live dates for and the all tickets that, for, yeah. the t- for the tickets. Uh, February 7th is awesome. I think it's sold out. Maybe you can wait in line and get in. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Uh, February 9th is uh, Houston. Come to uh, the, I think it's called Comedy Secret Group or whatever. The tickets are on living party dot life. That's February 9th in Houston. I think we need to move some tickets over there. Should be a fun venue. And then come watch the Super Bowl with us, February 11th in uh, Fort Worth. Should be a good time. Should be a fun run. We're going to see a lot of really cool people. We might hang out with uh, Nick from True Detective mm. in Austin. That's going to be cool. That'll be crazy. We're yeah. going to hang out with uh, Philip Meyer. We're going to go fire some guns with him. He wrote The Sun. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, Aaron Gwynn is coming down, our good f- friend of the show mm. uh, and author extraordinaire. He's going to be driving down. Mm-hmm. We're going to see him. We're, we're, we're going to gonna... probably see Pendejo time, by the way, too. Jake and Thomas oh, okay. are going to be down we'll there. See time. We are going to hang out with the pedophile from episode five of True Detective season one. <laughs> the guy the guy who gets blown up by the landmine when he's running away. <laughs> we're hanging out with that dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's going to be... I'm thinking about uh, filming all of it and then filming the show, maybe making a, like a, 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 a cool doc out of it, or maybe it'll just suck and we won't put anything out. I don't mm-hmm. really know. I never know what we're doing. Mm. Um, and uh, trying to... Oh, yeah, and then come March 23rd to see Lemon Party live. Uh, the I posted the information on the Patreon. And then live streams every other two weeks. Shout out to Mount Moist Turtleneck, who is a good mod for the live streams uh, every Wednesday. Oh, and also I'm on Cameo, by the way. I'm getting like two a day mm. and every, ca- I don't even have to read the script for mm. Cameo because they're like, can you tell my friend he's a fucking faggot and he should kill himself? Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have to look at the script. It's every time. It's like, hey, Jeff, you're gay. Right. You should take your it's, own life. It's even worse. It's like, can you, t- <laughs> can you tell my mom that I should get to listen to the podcast more? <laughs> <laughs> the cameos are so fun. I just get to tell people all day they should kill themselves. Right. It's can, great. Can you tell my boss it wasn't my fault they paid on the company Bluetooth? Oh, and I haven't told you guys this yet, but I'm developing a coffee right now with a micro roaster I found where he's sending me some beans, a little concoction that mm. we're going to whip up. I want to make something that kind of tastes like the coffee version of Coke Zero, if you know what I mean. Right. Maybe so some you, strawberry. You can give botulism to the fans. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm going to make a Ben Bean, though. I'm going to have my own personal coffee business. Mm, beautiful. Yeah, you yeah. started drinking coffee two weeks ago, by the way. Yeah. And by the way, I sent the latte art I made to my friend who's a barista, and he was like, Jesus fucking Christ, that's amazing. What yeah. a swastika. <laughs> Is that what he said? He goes, "Is that a, that's an Iron Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's holding the big bundle of sticks. I can see it. <laughs> I did a I did a tulip. It sure. looked really good. Oh. I didn't send you guys a, a video of it because I knew I would have gotten uh, not a response from either of you. No, 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 no. I know no. you both would look at your phone and went ah, and then put it yeah. face down on the <laughs> table. I go and then my girlfriend goes, "What was that?" I go, "It's nothing, nothing. <laughs> Don't worry I go, about ben it." Ben figured out how to steam milk. <laughs> As I twiddle a gun. I, yeah, I, I put my phone down. I go, Ben's got a new thing, so. <laughs> We need to steer clear for a while. Uh, I'm going to make an Aeracano for you guys one day. You're going to love it. Ooh. What the hell is that? It's I like hate. I can make nitro cold beer without the nitrous and all that shit. I can do mm. it by steaming um, yeah. cold water <laughs> with an espresso shot. I just can't wait for the day. You're like, so I, I've gotten really into what I do is I take beer and then I drink <laughs> it. And then I yell at Katie. Dude, that's what it's, it's getting really close to that, honestly. It's getting, I've really been considering yeah. drinking. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I've been drinking like seven espressos yeah, a day. Yeah, but you're gonna be you're gonna be like, so what? I'm drinking, but I use a lot of bitters. <laughs> right. So it doesn't. It's fine, dude. I have little glasses for the espresso shots too, and I take them like they're whiskeys. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's a bad track. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. But but Andrew mm-hmm. Huberman said alcohol is a nootropic, so I might dip my toes mm-hmm. back in the water. Mm-hmm. Did he mm-hmm. recently mm-hmm. say that? I'm sure he has. Oh. Everything's a nootropic now that's bad for you. Mm-hmm. I think it's all funded by the, w- w- you know, I think Anheuser-Busch says go say sure, yeah. Bud Light's a nootropic. Microdosing you know? high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, dude, he's, he's run out of ideas. He's like, he's like, how to optimize your snore. <laughs> optimize your snore. He just was like has nothing left at this point. He posted a big list the other day. Everybody was talking about where he goes. Uh, like it got shared by everybody. Where it's like here, here are my here are nine nine pillars, pillars to hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like one. It was like drink water. Yeah, number like, eight. What the fuck? Yeah, number eight. Hang out with Whitney mm-hmm. Cummings. <laughs> mm-hmm. Fucking retard. He's actually. I do. I, I I listen to his podcast a lot. But at a certain point. <laughs> At a certain point, this culture of like I have to optimize everything. You're turning yourself into RoboCop for no reason. Like, just have a little bit of goddamn fun. Yeah. You know? What are we? What are people? How about nine to pillars do? to having a good time? Yeah. yeah. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. How about I one getting see, behind the wheel of a car? Right. I just I went back. I went back home and I I saw so many people who were like I run of you know an enterprise and they're like I'm I'm putting my face in the bowl of water. It's cold in the morning and I'm I'm like y- your life sucks. <laughs> Maybe optimize your life. Yeah. And then you'll feel better I'm around gonna, everything else. I'm going to post the nine pillars to get fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> the nine the nine pillars of drink. Uh, uh, number one, don't eat. <laughs> number two. No, number sm- one's empty belly. Yeah. Number number two, empty belly. Number three, smoke after drink. Yeah. Number, so you'll over smoke. Number three, rip the filters off your cigarettes. You don't want to filter anything out. Fuck mm-hmm. that shit. Fuck that shit. Yep. Uh, yes, sir. Number four, uh... Uh, go on Facebook and tell everybody you're going to kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> number five, block your parents. <laughs> block their phone numbers. Don't tell them. Six, uh, drive to the nearest police station and park backwards and look at them through your rearview mirror while drinking mm. whiskey. Number nine, <laughs> see how long you can drunk drive for. <laughs> Have a competition with your friends. Yes. You literally have a clock on your yeah. dash. Like you're, that, like you're playing chess. Uh, yeah, like <laughs> tri- <laughs> time chess. Yeah, just switching switching driving while it's moving. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just climbing in the seat. Yeah, I don't know the other ones, but... I they guess- really are. These guys, these doctors really are lucky that people like didn't know they could cook their own food or yeah. drink. They didn't even know water came out of the faucet. It's actually a really solid point. You know, People yeah. didn't know you could just drink water. Yeah. They and had dude, no idea. They thought everything you drank had to come from a can or a bottle. They yeah. had no idea. Andrew Huberman said, Dr. Pepper's not good. <laughs> and he said... He said the things that are healthy are healthy. <laughs> and the things that are not healthy are they're not healthy. I, I think it literally said water, sleep, exercise, waking up early. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Well, like, think, wow, uh, yeah. holy shit, what a groundbreaking. What a great, You're think, a neuroscientist, yeah, right? Yeah. Wow, t- holy take, shit. Take man. this from uh, fucking the farmer's almanac Ben Franklin yeah. wrote. Faggot. Andrew Huberman <laughs> said right foot, then left foot. Right foot, then left foot. And that's how I get to my car. And he said, he said, you put your pants on first, <laughs> then you put your shoes on. Because shoes first, you can't put pants can't on. can't put pants over shoes. Everyone knows that. <laughs> All right, we should probably end the episode. I'm getting a headache. Yeah. Probably because I drank four Coke Zeros. Yeah, well, I got two more in the fridge for you, buddy. Hell yeah. All right. All right. Well, all right. We'll see you, folks. Goodbye, everybody. See Wait, you. Did you drink, see you in did Austin. You drink my Coke Zeros were those in the fridge? Oh, did I pour your Coke Zero into my glass? Wow. Mm. I brought I brought three Coke Zeros, and well, my brother drank I, two of I them. I got a twenty four pack at Target right here. I oh hide under the desk. God, God, you even drink your Coke Zeros warm, just Jesus like your beers. Christ. You uh, like, I guess I do. Yeah. Good lord. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. You were wrapping up. No, no, no. You want. The 24 packs of Target are like $12. You want a hot CZ, you bro? Want a hot Coke Zero? It felt great walking out of Target with this because it felt like the old days when I go to Walmart and get like a 30 pack. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of like Michelob I'm, t- I'm telling you, I'm going to walk in, you're going to have candy cigarettes rolled up in your sleeve. <laughs> I've been really thinking about smoking again, too. Huh. Interesting. 
Interesting. interesting. I already had the fucking baby. Like, I can't fuck my sperm up and make the baby retarded now. That's half the reason why I quit right. so long Blowing ago. Blowing smoke in her mm-hmm. face. You're like, it's fine. It's fucking fine. It's just fucking my cum up and making my cum retarded. All right. I don't need the cum anymore. <laughs> I can have retarded cum. Yeah. Anyway, we got to end the episode. Uh, goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Out in the West Texas town of El Paso, I fell in love with a Mexican girl. Nighttime would find me in Rose's Cantina, music would play and Polino would whirl. Blacker than night were the eyes of Polino, wicked and evil while casting a spell. My love was deep for this Mexican way. I was in love, but in vain I could tell. One night a while, young 